Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is my jungle and if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I am really excited about today's video because I am going to show you some of my favorite anthurium right now. I've been going a little a little anthurium crazy in case you hadn't noticed. I have a little bit of an anthurium addiction right now, but there is good reason why. So I did actually just do an anthurium haul video recently, a couple of them, but in the last one, people got, I'm not gonna lie, people got a little, little, little bit nasty with me, wondering why I spend so much money on anthurium and implying that I basically spend too much money on Anthurium, which um, I'd like to explain really briefly before we get into this video because A, it's not really any of your business what I spend, and B, I tell you majority of the time when I am unboxing the price of the plant, what I paid for it, if I have access to it or remember it, but sometimes I forget, and C, this is my business. This is what I do. It's my job. <laughs> So I'm not out here just willy-nilly buying up all the anthurium for no reason. I do have a lot of really big plans to breed with a lot of these plants in 2025. I already have some berries going on some over here that I'm pretty excited about, but nothing really fancy. But I wanted to show you some of my favorite anthurium right now that I'm very excited about for the future. The plants that I look at and I'm just like, ooh, can't wait to make babies with you. So it was very, very hard to choose, but I'm gonna show you guys my top 10 current favorites and ones that I am excited about and ones that I just really wanna show you. So there's also some construction going on outside of my house. So hopefully you can't hear it, but if you can, I apologize for that. We have some new lighting in here as well. So hopefully you should be able to see better <laughs> and hopefully things are nice and well lit for you back here so you can look at them better. But the first one on my list today that I absolutely had to show you is one of my personal favorites. This is my Anthurium Forgetii X Luxuriance. And this one is coming from Bare Roots Botanicals. Bare Root Botanicals. I don't know why I always add an S. <laughs> and absolutely love Lewis and Noah. They are the cutest. I'm obsessed with them. I literally want to like get in my car and drive to Florida just so I can go hug them and hang out with them in their greenhouses and I very well might do that one day. So this one is just, a, it's very special. It's very unique. I've seen this cross quite a bit but I haven't seen one this nice. This is a really nice one. So I'm very, very excited about this plant. I hope that I can self-pollinate it and make some babies that look just like her. So Forgetty Eye X Luxurians is number one on my list today because I just really love her. I think she's absolutely stunning and I can actually show you a little bit closer up to the camera now with this lighting and it doesn't get too washed out. So yay! I mean it's a little bit. We gotta figure out why that's happening. If anybody is like a photographer or videographer, feel free to let me know why that's happening. So anyway, Forgetty Eye Luxuriance, not Lux Forgetty Eye. I think that it matters that the Forgetty Eye was the parent and the Luxuriance was the pollen donor because Luxuriance kind of tends to take over the cross a little bit, but this one has that texture to it without it being too much. So I love, love, love the darkness of this leaf. You guys will see, I love a dark boy. And the texture is just so dreamy. It really does look luxurious, and I love it. Ooh, number two on my list is right here. People go nuts for this one when they see it. I hope the camera picks up on how beautiful it is. And this is my Papalaminum X Warroquianum. Look at her. First of all, she's huge. This is her newest leaf. It's literally just finished hardening off. It's huge. 
and it's beautiful and it sparkles you guys the camera's not going to pick up on it but it literally sparkles and she is just here's one of her older leaves dark narrow look at how big that one got though <laughs> she went from this to this so you can see she's gonna get even just like a little bit darker she's gonna lose this like chocolatey color to her but you can even see the back of this leaf is like kind of reddish mm, it's so good you guys it's so good so this one is coming from font animal plant house i'm not gonna lie i almost wore my my merch my t-shirt today because so many of the plants i'm showing you today have come from font animal but it needs to be washed <laughs> there's cat hair all over it because i left it on a chair and the cat made a bed out of it so this one is coming from them and i literally had to fight people in that live like fight for this plant because everybody wanted it it's absolutely beautiful so again this is my papilaminum waraquianum and then it was crossed with itself so it is a selfing but i don't think that selfings are any less exciting than the original clones so i don't subscribe to that idea so look at her I cannot wait to self this thing again or maybe cross it with something else nice and dark like this one behind me what we're gonna get there um or gee I don't know something with texture like I genuinely don't know there are so many possibilities and I just really love her she probably should be up potted and maybe she's gonna go into Cataphil for us soon it sure looks like she's getting ready to give me an inflow so Ooh, pap or aquianum is number two on my list she's stunning absolutely stunning all right you guys number three on my list of anthurium that i am excited about is my anthurium michelle so she is a red crystal. She's just a really nice dark red crystal who still holds on to some of the pink in her veining. You can see it on the petioles and on the backs of the leaves. Her new leaves come in pink. Isn't she so cute? So I don't like calling her Doc Block Michelle anymore after I learned about more about Doc Block. Um, but she is technically just a premium red crystal that was bred and cultivated by Tim Anderson. So super duper cute. Like you can't go wrong with this one. This one's everybody's favorite. When people see this, even if they don't like Anthurium, they're like, wait, <laughs> that's beautiful because it is unusual for them to hold on to that pink as they age. The new emergents are stunning, stunning, absolutely gorgeous, can't go wrong, you really can't go wrong with Michelle. So Red Crystal Premium Michelle is number three on my list because she's gorgeous and hopefully this leaf is going to be even bigger than this one, it absolutely should be. If it's not, then she needs to be up potted again, she's got roots on roots on roots roots to the wall like Lewis would say and um, she's just really beautiful I like her a lot so that's why I put her on the list because I do plan on breeding with her she's a good one she's a good breeder I feel like maybe I should have just titled this like updates on all of my Fontana mail <laughs> because number four is also from Fontanimal plant house and it is my anthurium long bullet x rlfs so long long bullet i think is a pap like a cultivated pap i'm not exactly sure and then rlfs stands for ralph linum fort sherman which are two papilaminums that were crossed so like this very well just might be a pap hybrid but oof is it dark and oof do i love her look at that new leaf she literally just finished hardening off this one and immediately pushed out this one. I'm trying to be really careful not to mess her up. She already has a little blemish on her. Why is the lighting hate me? Why do you hate me? This is annoying. So yeah, long bullet X RLFS. Look at how dark she is. Oh girl. And I just love 
that classic like pap shape the with the lobes I love their emergence how they're kind of red burgundy red velvety vibes like you just really can't go wrong with this guy and I obviously would love to make more of these because in case you haven't noticed I like a dark long boy so this one is no exception and I absolutely love it I catch myself staring at this one quite a bit because this leaf is very very dark this rivals this one back here that I'm gonna show you eventually I promise it's just I feel like I show it to you all the time so I saved it for the end but she's she's dark she's almost as dark almost looks totally black um but I do have one that's even darker but I do love this one because the shape of the leaves is just absolutely beautiful I love the veining and how subtle and nice and green it is it's just a really gorgeous plant honestly so Definitely wanted to show you guys this Anthurium Long Long Bullet X RLFS. So, there she is. Okay, so number five on my list today of Anthurium that I am excited about is another one from Fontanimal, and it is my Lexi's Dream. So, in case you don't know, Phil and Lexi, this plant is peeing on me. I just watered everything. So if you don't know, Phil and Lexi over at Fontanimal Plant House, this is a hybrid that they did and they named it Lexi's Dream. It is a Red Crystal Premium X Ace of Spades hybrid. So do you see how long? Tell me this doesn't just look like, like a really beautiful long leaf crystallinum. Like, it's just absolutely stunning. So I feel like the, the Ace of Spades hybrid in there makes it probably even more dark and narrow. And then the Red Crystal just gives it these beautiful veins. And sometimes Crystallinum can actually be quite elongated. I just got one from Equidinera that I'll show you guys when it gets here that is very elongated and dark. It actually kind of looks similar to this minus the red because it's not a red crystal. But this is the new leaf coming out. Look at it. Isn't that freaking gorgeous? Sorry, I'm still playing around with the lighting. You guys trying to get it just right in here. I was trying to film earlier, but with the construction going on outside... So now the lighting's not as good as it was earlier. But anyway, Lexi's Dream Red Crystal Premium X Ace of Spades Hybrid. Look at this leaf. This just gets me real excited. I got all the ideas. Like cross this again with like a pap or something or I don't know. Again, something with like belate texture. Like something just to make it look different. Just to like add in some different characteristics. Or you can cross it with itself and see what you get. It's just. I am so excited, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Anthurium have kind of revamped my excitement for plants because I was kind of getting burnt out. I was growing Hoya for four years, and I love my Hoya, but they can be really frustrating to grow, and they can be really stubborn. The mealybugs were driving me insane. I had flat mites. Everything was pissing me off, and I was just getting really down on myself and really down on my plant collection and wondering why I even still bothered with them. So it's hard to propagate them for my business too. They don't grow that fast. So they just really weren't giving me as much as I was hoping they would give me. And then I got into Anthurium. And let me tell you, my excitement and my love for houseplants has just continued to grow since getting into Anthurium and expanding my collection and the excitement of breeding them. I've been wanting to breed Hoya for years. They never bloom at the same time. And even if you do all the things right, they might not take. It is really hard to cross-pollinate Hoya. It is not hard to cross-pollinate Anthurium. That's why there are so many hybrids. But that is not going to stop me from trying to make some really, really cool stuff for you guys and for myself. I am a nerd for genetics. I always have been. I absolutely love stuff like that. I literally used to make Punnett squares for funsies when I was a kid. And I just am so excited, so, so excited about the possibilities with these plants. So I just had to share this video with you guys so that I can just share my excitement about the future with you guys because I cannot wait 
to make some really cool plans for you guys. If you're not on Palm Street yet, I 10 out of 10 recommend you come on over and hang out. That's where I'm going to be selling all of my seedlings and everything in the future. That is where I bought all of these plants. And the community there is just amazing. So come on over. I'll leave that link down below for you. Anthurium Lexi's Dream is number five on my list. So you can hop into any of their lives and request this guy. Tell him that I sent you and they will definitely take care of you. Ooh, number six is <laughs> so good. And it is from my most recent purchase from Phil and Lexi over at Fontanimal. This is like a, literally just an I love Phil and Lexi video, which is hilarious. But it is this guy. And, and she's got a little bit of cosmetic damage. I'm really excited for a new leaf to come out. I don't have a tag. This is the Fort Sherman crossed with Leland Dagger. And like, hello. Do you see this sinus? It's kind of red too. The camera's really not picking up on it. I got it like color correct in post. So hopefully you guys will be able to see it better. But look at the back of it. Look at how red. Woo! She's so good. And her sinus is just getting like flatter and flatter. This one's even flatter than the last one. So I am really, really, really excited to see where this one goes and this one was pricey this was a hold back that they were downsizing so i snagged it they were planning on breeding with this and now i'm gonna breed with this so i'm really really excited about this one i don't have the leland dagger in any of the genetics that i've got going on here so i'm really excited to add these characteristics in with something else even just selfing it would be really fun i think this is a great one to self because it is really unique and if i can get some babies that look similar or maybe even cooler again this is the fort sherman which is a pap you can definitely tell there's pap in there on these older leaves and the leland dagger is definitely an interesting one it definitely has more of that flattened sinus so it's a really um unique hybrid in my opinion so i had to have it even though she was not cheap <laughs> and she is number six on my list today of anthurium that i'm really excited about all right number seven another one from fontanimal this is my bvep port x fort sherman it's almost like i like fort sherman um, I love a BVEP as well. You can definitely see the BVEP in here, or it's also called Antilaki, but I just really love this one. I have quite a few crosses that are similar to this, have similar parents going on, but none of them that look like this. This one is just really nice and dark. I love the subtle veining on it. I love the kind of reddish color to the petioles and the veining and this one its emergence are mm, so good they're so good and i'm really just genuinely obsessed with this plant i catch myself staring at her all the time so i am excited to work with this one i don't want to make too many complex hybrids if i don't have to or if i don't feel the need to but this one's just so so beautiful that even if i just crossed it again with a pap i think that it would be really really nice really really nice so bvep port x fort sherman i feel like you can't see the port in this one like at all besides maybe no it honestly just looks like a bvep x pap and I, that's probably why i love it so she's number seven on my list today of plants that i am excited about especially for making the babies yay plant sex okay let's not get weird okay so number eight on my list actually comes from my friend matt over at the plant ward they are located in worcester massachusetts if you are anywhere within driving distance of worcester massachusetts i 10 out of 10 recommend going and checking out their shop there's lots of other plant shopping and good food and things to do in worcester so it's totally worth the day trip i drive to 
two plus hours to get there to see them and get inventory for you guys and film and do all the things plus they're just great people and I did snag some really interesting plants from him a while back they are crystallinum open pollinated but what makes this one in particular really special and really unique is it was the darkest one out of the batch and he thinks that it may have been cross-pollinated with a Carla Blackie that was sitting right next to the crystal at the time when they both had blooms. And when you look at this leaf, it's definitely giving Carla vibes. So this was the darkest one out of the batch, so I for sure snagged it and I'm very excited to watch it grow. So this is just a crystallinum open pollinated. Some of the older leaves you can see are a little bit more green, but this newest one, and it's fully hardened off, so this is its color, is much, much darker. This was the darkest one out of the batch. It's absolutely stunning. It's got that like kind of pinkish red margin that some crystallinum have. You could see a little bit of pink in the petioles, not a ton but I'm just actually really stoked about the potential of this plant and it is one that I catch myself looking at quite a bit and wondering what the next leaf is going to look like. It's at the stage where it's probably going to upsize very, very quickly. I do need to repot it and take it out of the moss, put it in something bigger. I'm waiting for my pots to come. I ordered some off of Timu and they came like not the right ones and I was like, it's the only thing that frustrates me about buying stuff from China. <laughs> Descriptions are not always what they say they are. So uh, Crystallinum X Open, it's just open pollinated, so it is technically a crystal, no ID, but potentially crossed with Carla Blackie, which is why it's so dark, or maybe it's just super duper dark. I do have a couple others that I held back from the batch that are a little bit more elongated, but this is the darkest one, and I'm very excited to see what she grows into. Carla Dupe, wow. So she is number eight on my list today. Super duper cute. And some of you out there bought some of her siblings, so we get to grow them out together. All right, fam. So the last two on my list are actually coming from Woohoo Tropicals, another of my favorite breeders to purchase from. They're also on Palm Street. So like don't sleep on Palm Street. And number nine off my list is my Anthurium politiflorum. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not excited about this one because I want to breed with it. I'm just excited because look at it look at it look at how long and narrow and beautiful this leaf is i was actually thinking about maybe putting it on top of the fridge and letting it kind of hang down because it doesn't need high humidity and it does get really nice light in the kitchen but i'm just really really enjoying her right now again this is the anthurium politiflorum she is my favorite so far of the long skinny leaf anthurium that I have in my collection and I am just really excited about the potential of this plant. Not because I intend to breed with it, it is kind of difficult to breed with this one. I'm not sure if anybody has really successfully crossed with this one too much. So it really is more just the excitement of growing this one and watching it get big and continuing to measure the leaves every time it comes out. I haven't measured this one yet actually, but it goes all the way from my wrist just past my elbow so it's probably I don't know longer than 12 inches I would assume so really really nice and if you don't have this one in your collection I 10 out of 10 recommend it it's really easy going easy growing it makes a really great beginner anthurium it makes a great ambient anthurium if you're not growing in high humidity so anthurium pellitiflorum is number nine on my list of anthurium that I'm excited about. I'm just excited about this one for a different reason than the rest of them. Obviously, I'm excited to watch the rest of them just grow, but the addition of breeding with them just adds more excitement. So, Ooh, and the last one on my list, you guys, really shouldn't be surprising for anybody. I saved the best for last, my favorite 
freaking plant in my whole entire collection. I show it to you all the time, but I'm gonna show it to you again because it just put out a new leaf and it's perfect and it's stunning and it's amazing and I cannot wait for flowers on it. Let me put this one back first. Wow, 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 wow. <gasps> wow. Here she is. <sighs> my Pap Woo 6 X Ace of Spades Dark Form. This one is also from Woohoo Tropicals. It's the Papalaminum Woo 6 crossed with Ace of Spades Dark Form. Although, honestly, she just looks like Ace of Spades most days. Look at her. Look at her. Where was her last leaf? Was it this one? Yeah. She gave me this one. So dark and stunning. Her emergence used to come out like a chocolatey brown. And then she popped out this babe. And she's like red. This is the first red emergent she's ever given me. I've grown her since this was her biggest leaf. So, and she's grown really quickly and really, really well for me. Actually, look at her. She already needs a freaking up. I just potted this like two months ago. Look at it. It already needs to be up potted again. Like that's actually insane. This has been the best growing anthurium for me. My favorite just aesthetically like there's n I have no complaints about this plant period this is the best plant I've ever owned <laughs> like I am obsessed with this plant if you want to see like more of what her color looked like before she started hardening off because she's starting to harden off a little bit so she will go dark like this but even look she's got more veining than the last leaf <laughs> I can't wait to breed with this. I think this would be beautiful crossed with Bessier. And I am obsessed with her. I'm going to call her Red Velvet from now on because that is what her leaves remind me of. Red Velvet Cake, the color, is so dreamy. And I am just obsessed. I'm obsessed. I barely saw the pap in this plant until now. Like, but you see the pap in there now, especially in the color. Like, it was always in, like, the petioles, this more reddish color, and you kind of see it a little bit on the back of the leaf here, but they're very, very dark. And where was the other one I said was almost black here? So I can show it to you side by side. Honestly, they kind of look pretty similar on camera, but in person, this one is just a smidge darker. Well, you could definitely tell there's pap in both of them. They, they look super similar, but they're not. They're different, I promise. Sometimes people are like, I can't tell the difference between any of the anthurium. And I'm like, that's a personal problem, babe. I can't help you with that one. They do look similar, but they are different. You can see they're two emergence. And as they continue to grow, they're going to get different characteristics. So that is the uh, long bullet RLFS. And this is the Pap Woo 6 Ace of Spades dark form and I'm just like totally obsessed with her. What else? what else is there? What else is there to say? Can't wait to make babies with this one. She should give me inflows very very soon. She's super mature and she is definitely getting to caterpillar size. So whoo, that is my list you guys of my top 10 anthurium in my collection that I'm excited about. So there are so, 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 so many more. I have some really beautiful pure babes. I've got pure Carlos, pure Beveps, some really beautiful dark red crystals. They're just small. So I wanted to show you some of the like larger, more impressive leaves that I have in my collection, but I have so many more. I don't even bother counting them. They're taking over the plant room. I've downsized my philodendron, and Monstera, and Hoya to make room for these because they get big. I don't even know where I'm going to put you when you put out another leaf. Hopefully the next leaf will continue to get bigger. If it doesn't, I definitely am going to need to up pot this thing. This is insane. These roots have grown stupid fast and it's probably because of fish shit. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I love that shit. So I'll leave it linked down below for you, not sponsored. I don't have a discount code, unfortunately. But 
I purchase it constantly with my own money and I 10 out of 10 recommend that you do too. So, oh my gosh, look at her. If that's not a perfect anthurium, I don't know what is. I don't know what is, but stay tuned because I do have more mail coming. It's just all coming out of Florida. And as I sit here and talk to you guys, there is a hurricane coming straight for Florida. So again, my prayers are with everybody who is down there. Hopefully everybody is safe. My prayers are with everybody in North Carolina. I have been having a hard time with this stuff all the way up here in New Hampshire empathy overload so there's lots of really amazing people on the palm street app in the community we've been fundraising i personally haven't been but other people have been taking donations to help out those that are impacted by the hurricanes so definitely come on over the community is amazing be ready to turn your credit cards off though just don't even put them in the app if you're not looking to spend money because <laughs> it's dangerous. I'll be real with you. It's dangerous, especially for impulsive ADHD people. But I love you guys. And I wouldn't tell you to get on there if I didn't think that you would also love it. So I'll leave all of that down below for you guys to go and check it out. If you use my code, you do get some coupons and discounts and things. Discounts? can't talk discounts and things like that that is my cue to end this video because i am rambling and i can't say words properly so i hope that you avoid it avoided it <laughs> so i hope that you enjoyed it and didn't avoid it because that would be terrible and if you did you should give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything from me in the future. If you are looking for a neuro spicy plant chick to hang out with, you found me. And I love you guys so, so very much. If you watched this whole entire video, I'm going to be really cliche and tell you to leave me black heart emojis because that's what I think of when I think of my anthurium. I love them so, so very much. They are my favorite. And I hope that you guys are getting into it and getting excited about anthurium too. I hope that I can encourage you to be less afraid of the genus because I wish that I had gotten into it sooner, but honestly I think they came into my life at just the right time when I needed it. So that's it for this video fam. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to stay hydrated and I hope to see you in the next